how do you achieve a better mindset when doing something? Example, today I was running the beat test and found it extremely difficult to push past uh, the out of breath feeling. So yeah, this applies, this, these strategies I'm going to go over, these sort of apply, these do apply to all aspects. And that's what you're asking there. You weren't just asking about the beat test. You're asking about, yeah, just times when it starts to get hard. So there's a few different, like there's, there's so many different things. I have done a full live on this as well, but just to, yeah, I've got a few things that just popped into my head straight away when I saw this question and they're just things that I use. I, I instantly think of stuff that I use and things that I've really honed in over, over time. And, and this sort of stuff, you really, you train it and to train it, you've got to be putting yourself into those uncomfortable times with training there's no point giving up every time you get there because you're training yourself to give up all right it's it's one of those things that yeah you get there you give up that's what you're training yourself to do you get there you push that little bit more each time you train yourself to push that little bit more this time it might be just a couple more shuttles or that little bit further uh, but you know you made that little bit further now so next time that little bit further has got to be a little bit further so I just keep stacking on more and more and you start to learn that you're actually able to do a lot more than, than what you think. Just got three things down here just to keep it nice and simple. So what are some things when shit gets hard <laughs> with training, with tests, with anything really physically, uh, especially. So the very first thing, and, I, and I'm thinking more in line with the beat test, but these can be, these can be done with uh, a lot of other things. What I was actually thinking of with this is one of the hardest things outside of the, the beat test to be able to really, that, that takes a lot of mental strength, uh, fitness tests on herbs, like things like the cross trainer or the rower or something stationary and you're doing a fitness test on that. I reckon that is the hardest thing to, the, the hardest thing mentally to really push with. Because all you're doing is you're sitting in the same freaking spot or standing and you're just looking at a screen. You're not seeing yourself moving, just feeling the pain and either the intensity is going up and boy, whatever's happening. It's just you and your mind with the ability to keep pushing yourself. And you can apply these tricks to that as well, because we used to have this cross trainer test and very similar to the beat test. We used to do it in the army when I was uh, one of the reserve units. And it starts at a certain level, certain resistance, and you've got to hold a certain cadence with the cross trainer. And then every two minutes, that resistance gets harder and harder. So it's very similar to the beat test. The intensity just keeps getting harder and harder every couple of minutes. And you know, that if I hold on for a little bit longer, this is just going to get harder. So it's one of those tests that, that are very difficult mentally because it's not like you just, all right, I just need to hold this. I just need to hold this. The, the fact of knowing if I hold this, it's going to get harder after this period really, really plays with your mind. But yeah, I used a lot of these methods for that specific thing. And I did get the top score for it as well. So it really works. Some of them sound so simple that it, it, it shouldn't work, but it does. And the more you train it, the more you just focus in on those things and get really good at them. Yeah. The more they will help you and the better you will get it. The very first thing I just put distraction with focus. So it's my made up own little term when I thought about this. So distraction with focus. So what does that mean? And it's the same as when you're going for your runs and things like that, especially long runs, distraction with focus, instead of sitting there running and thinking, holy shit, this hurts. Every time I turn, this leg's hurting. My legs are on fire. My breath is completely out of whack. My heart feels like it's pumping out of my chest. I feel like I need to spew. Rather than focusing on all of those things, distract yourself with performance focuses. Something that's going to help without thinking about what's hurting. Technique is, is something to be thinking about all the time. And it's a really good way to distract yourself by focusing on something away from you just hurting. Okay. So things like in the beat test, but again, this, this can come into anything that you're doing. Things with the beat test and stuff like your foot placement, because if you're really good with your foot placement, 
You can get just over the line so that you're not wasting all this distance every time you're turning, but you're thinking about the speeds you're going to be approaching each shuttle. So when you turn, you should be accelerating out. You should be cruising in the middle, and then you should be slowing down very quickly by the end. Thinking about pivoting on your feet, any sort of turn, like, all right, this one, I'm going to be turning on my right leg. Next one, I'm going to be turning on my left leg. All these sort of things that are running through your mind really distract you from what's happening in your body. And it's assisting you actually go better because you're being more efficient with what you're doing as well. A a perfect example is my long runs. I've never used music and I tell people this all the time and uh, they're always just like, what, how do you run without music? It's because I'm thinking about all of that stuff. I get into like this meditation when I'm doing it with rhythm, with breathing, I'm thinking about cadence. I'm thinking about where my foot's landing, how my breath is working with my steps, what muscles I'm using when I'm breathing, all these sort of things. And it just distracts you from what's actually going on and how you're feeling. Distraction with focus, a very powerful thing. Just to take your mind away from that pain feeling and, and fuck, I'm dying fitness <laughs> sort of thing to what can I do to, to make myself better? So that's the first one. The second one is micro goals. It's just so simple that it shouldn't work, but it does. And when I say micro goals, it just means breaking it down into something that you can really focus on that's that you're going to achieve soon. Rather than thinking like you've just started level level six and you're really struggling, I've just got to make it to level seven, keep going. Level seven is another minute away. A minute when you're already at your max is a very long time. So just focusing on the next four shuttles is a really good thing to do. Not even caring about what you're up to, just caring about these four shuttles. What do I need to do to keep up with this speed test for these four shuttles? I'm not saying I just need to do these next four shuttles. I'm thinking, what do I need to do to keep up for the next four shuttles? It's a different way to be thinking about it. So what do I need to do? Just keep up for the next four shuttle. Just do that. Four shuttle, keep up with it. And then this really weird thing happens. When you get to those four shuttles and you complete those four shuttles, you can reset and go, if you're still feeling pretty fatigued, but you're not completely at the limit yet, you can be thinking, let's just go for the next four. And it's all that concept of just one more. Let's go, just one more. You hear PT? PT all the time, like the PTs, and when, they, when someone's lifting away, all right, this is your last one. This is your last one. Just one more. All right, two more. Because when people think it's just that last one, they can do it. So it's sort of putting that, that mindset in that, all right, we just need to hold on for these four shuttles. Let's go for these next four shuttles. Even if it comes down to it, let's go for the ne- these next two shuttles, just up and back. Just keep up with the beat up and back. Then it can go down to, I've been down to, so when I, my best has been up into the 14th. And I remember at that point, I was was racing a friend that I was actually training at the time as well. And I couldn't let him beat me, but he was killing it as well. He was in the, he was getting to the 14th. I don't know whether he actually got in there or not, but all that was in my head is like just another one. If you do another one, he's going to pull out. I'll do another one. I didn't pull out. Just do another one, another one, another one. Just keep doing this. And it's a crazy thing. When I was talking about the elliptical, the cross trainer test, and that it kept bumping up every two minutes, you're stationary. There's nothing like you're not looking. You haven't got this, this actual target to be trying to achieve. With that one, I'd be looking at the timer and initially I'd be like, all right, Just hold on to this for another third, like this next 30 seconds, just keep the pace for the next 30 seconds. And I'd repeat that a few times until, all right, I'm like on death road here. So then I'd drop it down to 15 seconds, even 10 seconds. And you just keep repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. And the more you do it, the more you just kind of push into it. And even if you push in those couple extra shuttles compared to what you did before, guess what? You just won over yourself because you pushed those couple of extra more. If you stopped as soon as it started getting hung, like, oh, I just need to reach level six. Let's just go. 
I just need to reach level six. You get re reach level six. Yeah, that really hurt. Let, okay, that's enough. We'll stop. You're losing. That's a fail. If you did one more, if you did two more, that's winning against your mindset. And it's teaching yourself just to go that a little bit more each time. And every time you do it, you just got to keep doing it a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and it stacks on and you get really good at it. Another example of this exact thing as well is when I was with SF, we did the cadence push-up test, which you don't usually do in the army, but for, for this, this unit, we were, and our pass mark was 40 reps. So it was pretty easy, majority of people, but we'd go to max F. Some really good scores were up in the eighties, nineties, and a hundred for the cadence. We had this one guy, the test finished in the actual cadence stopped. So the count stopped at 175 reps and the PDI kept counting for this guy. He kept counting until he hit 200 and then called it. And the guy looked like he could still do another hundred. And we asked him afterwards, like, how do you just keep going like that? And this is exactly what he did. He's like, I just keep telling myself, this is the first 20. And then when I hit the 20, so this is my first 20. I'm just got to do the next, I'm just got to do the 20 and then the next 20 and you just keep doing 20 and 20, 20. So it's, it's crazy how simple it is, but very effective. The better you get at it, the more you can put it to use. So, you know, he was obviously really good at pushups as well, but he was really good at that. And then you will find that transitions into many other things, even with squats, I was just doing, I had a number in my head that I wanted to get to. And then I got to that number. I was just like, you know what? Let's go another one. Did it. Let's go one more and did it again. So always just pushing that, that little bit more each time and you'll, you'll learn that skill. Okay. And that's the second one. So micro goals, setting those micro goals. When you're going out for runs, it can be an extra light post, an extra five minutes. It can be just anything, just find something that you can Again, focus on just distraction with that focus. That's what those micro goals are, are doing as well. And then the last point I've got here is grit. Grit is a skill and it is learned by putting yourself into those really uncomfortable times. If you never put yourself into them or you always stop, as I was saying before, if you always stop before it gets really difficult, you're not creating any grit. You need to push each time you do it, just push that a little bit further. Even if you only get that, those couple extra shovels this time, you only get those two extra reps like I did. It's teaching you that grit just to go that little bit further each time. As you can see, this is all rolling into each other, all of these same things, just pushing that one more each time and having that mindset to do that. Okay. So it's a skill. Remember other times you've pushed into some really hard times. And you should be doing that in training because when you do it in training, that's when you can do it in real scenarios, whether it be a test or actually out in the field doing things. If you've already been there before, you know how it feels and you know, you can just go that little bit further, then you can remember those times. And a really good thing in regard to understanding what you can really do is put yourself under some sort of competition environment. That's when you really find out. There's so many times where I thought I was, I was really pushing to my, my limit in training and I was, but then I went into the competition and I was doing that same workout or whatever the freaking hell I was doing. And all of a sudden I could just push that so much harder without feeling anywhere near as bad as what I was during training. And then going into training after that, you're just like, wow. It, it just transitions into your training. All of a sudden it, it's happening in training as well. And you're able to really push into those limits because you just, you break that barrier. A lot of the time, your mind is just stopping you because you've never been there before. It thinks you're going to hurt yourself. That it thinks it's just the unknown. It's like something may go wrong when I push myself into those limits. So it stops you from doing it. And that's where a lot of strength comes from as well. There's people that got limiters, just of their body restricting them, thinking they're going to hurt themselves because they've never been there before. But again, pushing that little bit more, pushing that one more each time is teaching you there is more in there. I can push that little bit further. Remembering those times that you've done it before 
and those times you've been through that discomfort and you can push into those harder areas. All right. And the last point I've got under grid is just learn to keep pushing by pushing more each time. All right. I think that covers it. Just those three main points there. They all sort of roll into each other. You can see it's, it's very similar each one. But I've got distraction with focus, just focusing on all those performance things. What can I make myself more efficient with rather than focusing on what hurts? And then the micro goals, focus on something that, that's achievable right now. What can I do? I, can, I reckon I can you know, just hold on for these next four shuttles. And then the grit, learning that skill of being able to push yourself and getting yourself in those those uncomfortable uh, times, um, getting used to it and using that next time you go to do it as well. Remember that time you did it last 